how long the franchise came, Joel Lavava. I know this is going to sound a little crazy, but franchisee earnings, what franchisees make, is not important at all at the beginning of your franchise search. Here's why. Number one, you don't know enough about the business. I mean, if, if you see somewhere on Twitter or in a blog post or in an ad that franchisee earnings on average are $240,000, while that is great, um, and of course, if you see that, you think you'll make that kind of money, um, it's not so great if you don't know enough about the business. Like, what is the business? Oh, well, it's this food franchise. Great. Were you even interested in food franchises? Well, Joel, I'm not sure what I'm interested in, but boy, making $240,000 a year sure sounds great. You don't have enough information. Learn about the business. Contact the franchise company. Okay? Matter of fact, contact the franchise companies before you find out about earnings. I'll, I'll explain why in a moment. Number two, you don't even know what your typical day is going to be like. If you find something online that says, you know, franchisees are making $180,000 uh, uh, on average in their second or third year, well, that's great. I'd like to make that kind of money too. You don't even know what your role is as, a, is, is as a franchisee. You might have to be at work 15 hours a day, which is the thing that you were trying not to do because that's why you're leaving corporate America because you're sick of working for people 14, 15 hours a day and making money for them instead of just for you, okay? Find out what your day is going to be like as a franchisee before you get too excited about earnings. Number three, you may not even know if you can afford the opportunity, if you can afford the franchise. Uh, did you see the part where there's an $840,000 investment needed to make that $190,000? Maybe make that $190,000? Remember, these franchisee earnings claims are usually averages, and none of them come with a guarantee that you will make that money. Be careful of all these new websites that are around, that, that are throwing around numbers of revenue and earnings and stuff. Um, while it's a nice way to get people to their website, it's the wrong way to present franchise opportunities, okay? It's the easy way. It's kind of the weak way. Number four, you don't even know if it's a quality company. Well, the franchise, uh, the franchisee earnings are $140,000 in the second year on average, um, and the company has 300 units. Do you even know if the franchisees are happy? Sometimes making money is just part of the happiness factor. Do you even know if the franchisees are being supported? Is the franchise company being sued by a lot of ex-franchisees? You have no idea if you're even looking at a quality company. You're only looking at franchisee earnings. Folks, here's how to find a franchise that makes sense for you. It's not difficult. Write down what you're good at, match what you're good at, to franchise opportunities where you feel you can leverage it after finding out what the role is, what your role as a franchisee is going to be. And do a net worth statement. See what you can afford. Do a budget. Find out all this stuff and learn about the franchise opportunity before the earnings. You will find out the earnings. Okay? I promise you, you'll find out what franchisees make. Okay? Especially if you purchase my franchise research guide called the definitive guide to franchise research, but that's not what this is about. You will get the information, but you need to start at the beginning. Don't start at the end. Don't start with earnings. I know what you're saying to yourself. Well, Joel, why would I look at a franchise if I can't make any money? I want to know the earnings up front. I understand the mentality, but there's too many other factors besides earnings that come into play. If you want to learn more, Go to my website, thefranchiseking.com, check out the blog, lots of articles, and I wanted to just encourage you to look at franchises if you are a fit for franchising, okay? But just be careful. Start at the beginning. You will get the information. Find something that makes sense for you. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lababa. Thanks for watching this fairly short video.